How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. Today, I'm going to discuss factoring polynomials with the use of special factoring. So, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated with these cool math videos just like this. Today, we're going to discuss how to factor polynomials using special factors. Now, for the objectives of this lesson, we are going to factor completely polynomials using special factoring. Now, the question is, what is a special factoring? Special factoring is the condition in which we cannot apply the usual factoring method. So, for this discussion, we are going to consider the difference of two squares, the sum of two cubes, and the difference of two cubes. Okay, let's start. Now, math learners, this is our standard for the difference of two squares. As you can see, this is an example of a binomial because there are only two terms. Now, if we consider our last video using the common monomial factors, the two terms doesn't have any common monomial factor, right? So therefore, we cannot apply our usual factoring here. Now, this is considered as a special product. Okay, now, how do we factor this difference of two squares? It's very simple, math learners. You are just gonna make two quantities or two parentheses group or two groups, and then you factor a squared. You factor a squared. So what are the factors of a squared? That is a and a. And you put it on the first term for the first group and the first term for the second group. Okay. Then you factor the second term, which is B. So that will become B and B, right? So since our sign here is negative, remember that in product, if you have a negative answer or negative product, that is a result from a positive and a negative. So therefore, you can put plus here and you can put minus here, or vice versa. This could be minus and this would be plus. Okay, now let's put it into examples. Okay, math learners, I have here two examples of binomial in which these examples are considered to be the difference of two squares. Now remember that it is called difference of two squares because number one, it is subtraction. Number two, the two terms are both perfect squares. So when we say perfect squares, it has its own square root. Okay, so let's consider this example for x squared minus 9y minus 6. So in factoring, again, you make two quantities. You factor this one. So what is the square root of 4x squared? So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x. Okay, same goes to this one. And now you go to the last term, or the second term, 9y to 6. So the square root of 9 is 3, so same goes here. And the square root of y to the power of 6 is y cubed. Okay, same goes here, y cubed. So same, this will be positive and negative, or plus and minus. Okay, so this is our factors for this given polynomial. Okay, now let's go to the second example. We have here 25x to the 4th minus 16y squared. So what we will do here is we make two quantities. The square root of 25 is 5, right? The square root of x to the 4th is x squared. And then we go to the second term or the last term. The square root of 16 is 4. So you put 4 here. The square root of y squared is 1. Okay, and then you put plus and that's it. It's very simple, right? Okay, let's consider another special product. We have here the difference of two cubes. In my left, I have here the sum of two cubes. Now the question is, how do we factor this kind of polynomials? Okay, now in factoring the difference of two cubes, first we will make a small quantity and another is a bigger one. Okay, now, how do we factor this one? What you will do is you get the cube root of the first term and the second term. The cube root of a cube is a. The 
algebra of BQ is B, then you just copy the sign. Okay? Once you have this one, what you will do is you square the first term. Alright. You square the first term. And then you multiply the two terms A times B. A times B. And then you put a positive here. Now here's the catch. Why is it positive here? Whatever the sign here is opposite to the sign. Okay? Whatever the sign here is opposite to the sign. This sign will follow this sign. Okay? After that, we will now square the second term. The square of B is B squared. And this will always be plus. That's it. Very simple math learners. Okay. Now, how about this one? Same goes, we will make a small quantity and a bigger quantity. Alright. Now, let's just copy the sign. The cube root of A. The cube root of A cube is B. The cube root of B cube is B. Alright. And then, same goes in this one. A. The square of A is A squared. And then, we multiply the two terms. That would be A, B. But this is subtraction. Okay? And then, finally, we just copy the plus and the square of B is B squared. That's as easy as that. Now, let's observe our factors from each given polynomials. The sign is the same as the first factor. The sign is the same as the first factor. They have opposite the sign of the second term for the second group is opposite to the first sign or operation. Same goes here. It is opposite. And then, our last term for the second group or for the second factor will always be positive. This will always be positive. So that's it. Now, let's put some examples. Okay, math learners, we have examples for our difference of two cubes and an example for the sum of two cubes. Let's start first here. Okay. Now, how do we factor? First of all, we copy the sign, okay? We get the cube root of A, and that is 2. The cube root of x cube is x. And then the cube root of 27 is 3. And then the cube root of y6 is y squared. Now, let's just emphasize this one. What does cube root mean? A cube root is an expression in which when you multiply it 3 times to itself, the answer is the given expression. So, for example, 2x. 2x times 2x times 2x, we will resolve to 8x cubed. Same goes to 27. If we have 3 times 3 times 3, we have 3. y squared. y squared times y squared times y squared, we have y to the 6. So, now let's make our second factor. So, from here, you square this 1. So, you multiply it by itself. That is 4x squared. And then, the opposite of the minus, that's plus. You multiply the 2, so 2 times 3, that is 6. x times y squared, x, y squared. And then, we put a plus sign because that is always plus. And finally, the square of 3y squared. When we say the square, you multiply it by itself. So 3y squared times 3y squared is 9y to the 4. So this are the factors for this given polynomial. Easy, right? Okay, now let's go here. Okay, we have 27x cubed plus 1. Okay, so for our first step, we will make a small quantity. The cube root of 27, what is a number multiplied by itself 3 times, and the answer is 27, and the answer is 3. Alright, then x cubed, the, the cube root of x cubed is x, and then we copy the plus, the cube root of 1 is still 1 because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Now let us form the second quantity. Okay. So 3, so you multiply this by itself, 3x times 3x, that is 9x squared. You multiply them together, and that is 3x. However, the sign should be minus. Okay opposite of the plus and finally we have plus so 1 squared is 1 so this is your final answer now last example okay math learners we are down to our final set of examples we have here x cubed 
y to the 6th power minus 64. And on the other side, we have x cubed plus 125. Now let's start here. The difference of two cubes. Now, first is we make a small quantity and a bigger quantity. Okay? What is an expression multiplied three times by itself? The answer is x cubed. That is x. What is an expression multiplied three times by itself? The answer is y to the power 6. That is y squared. Okay, next. What is a number multiplied three times by itself? And the answer is 64. So the answer is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 times 4 is 64. And then we come with the sign. Okay, next. When you have this one, you multiply it by itself. So that is x squared y to the 4. Okay? And then the opposite of minus is plus. And then you multiply the two terms. We have 4xy squared. And finally, we put a plus sign because that is the rule. And we get the square of 4. So 4 times 4. And the answer is 60. And you have now your answer for the factors in this given polynomial. Now, let us go on this part. This is an example of the sum of two cubes. So first, we make a small quantity and a bigger quantity. Okay, what is an expression multiplied three times by itself? The answer is x cubed, and that is x. Okay, we follow the sign, which is plus. And what is the cube root of 125? A number multiplied three times by itself. The answer is 125, and that is 5. Alright, very good math learners. Now, let us form our second factor. Multiply this by itself, and the answer is x squared. We multiply them together, the answer is 5x. And the sign is opposite. Okay, and finally, we put the sign positive or plus, and we get the square of 5, and the answer is 25. And that is our final answer. And now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our lesson. And this is the try these exercises. And here it goes. Okay, I hope math learners you have understood our discussion for today's lesson. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And please do subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for your support. Always remember that it's very fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you and God